In this tutorial, we'll take a look at combining two Lightroom catalogs into one. This is useful if you want to create a separate catalog for a specific location shoot, or if you are traveling and cataloging your images in Lightroom during the trip. The advantages of working this way is that all of the organizing, rating, keywording, and development adjustments you apply in the separate catalog will be preserved and integrated into the main catalog once the two are merged together. There are two steps in this process. First is importing the catalog information into your main Lightroom catalog. Once that is done, you need to move the files from the laptop or portable storage device into the main image archive drive so that Lightroom knows where all the images are. Let's take a look. I've created an example catalog here to show you how you can take one Lightroom catalog and then merge it into your primary Lightroom catalog. The advantage of working uh, with catalogs this way is that all of the work that you do in one catalog, such as adding uh, star ratings, color labels, keywords, and development settings, all of that work is going to be imported in as one catalog is merged with the other. The images in this particular catalog were all taken on a single day's uh, shooting uh, in a small town in the Sierra foothills. So this could be analogous to if you were doing a location shoot. Uh, for a client, you might want to have all of your images from that one location shoot in one catalog so you can review your images on location and work with them in Lightroom. Or if you're traveling and have your laptop with you, you might have all of the images from your traveling uh, in a specific Lightroom catalog that's only for that trip. So the first step is I need to close this catalog and open up my primary Lightroom catalog. So I'm just going to go to the open recent menu here from the file menu and choose my primary Lightroom catalog and relaunch that. Lightroom can only have uh, one catalog open at the same time, which is why you have to go through that step. And once it opens up the new catalog, I can then just come up to the file menu and choose import from catalog. And then navigate to where uh, the other catalog is kept. In this case, it's in the primary Lightroom folder, which on this Macintosh is in my uh, pictures folder. So I'm just going to choose the name of that catalog, Dutch Flat Trip and click OK. It's going to open up the import uh, dialog and the one thing I want to point out here is that I am choosing to leave the file handling set here to the default setting which is to add the photos to the catalog without moving them. I could choose to copy them to a new location and then import them but that's going to take a lot longer because it's going to have to copy the files uh, as it is importing them. So I'm just going to leave that set to what it was set at and just choose import and of course, uh, the amount of time it takes to do this is going to vary depending on uh, the size of your image catalog. This particular catalog that I'm importing only has about 52 images in it, and that was done so that we didn't have to sit here and watch a progress bar for too long. You can see that uh, right away the thumbnails and uh, their corresponding previews are going to show up in Lightroom. And uh, the reason for that is that Lightroom doesn't have to go and make new thumbnails and previews because they were already created when these images were initially imported into Lightroom and put into that separate catalog. So uh, it's a very fast process. Now these images are part of my catalog and you can see that uh, information that I uh, added to them in the previous catalog such as star ratings and keywords is coming along and being imported into uh, the main image catalog and if I come down here and look at one of the images where I actually applied some develop settings all of those develop settings have come across and have been imported here into my main catalog. If I click that before and after icon, you can see uh, that those settings there where I increase contrast and color saturation are there. So that's all well and good, pretty easy. The last thing I need to do is move the actual image files so that they are transferred from my laptop hard drive down to the external hard drive where I keep uh, my primary image archive. And to do that, all I'm going to do is drag the corresponding folder for these images down to where I want to place it. And I'm going to place it here on this hard drive here. It says SD Image Archive 01A. And I'm going to put it in the 2008 folder. So I'll just come over here, click on that, and drag it down on top of 2008 and let it go. It tells me that it's moving the folder uh, on the disk. So I, all the corresponding folders that contain those images are going to be moved. And the great thing about that is that uh, this does a pretty good job at quickly moving uh, those images into my main image archive folder. You see that there is a progress bar up here in the upper left, which shows you uh, how much longer it's got to go. 
But that essentially is the basics of that procedure. First you uh, go to the file menu, choose import images from catalog, import the catalog and integrate it with your main Lightroom catalog and then using the uh, Lightroom uh, library uh, module and that uh, panel on the left hand side that allows you to work with your folders you move the folder onto the external drive uh, or wherever you need to move it to integrate it with your primary image archive.